Story Corner, presented by Jennifer. Murder to Go. Detective Sylvia Ramos yawned as she stepped from her car and headed across the parking lot. The day was just dawning. Why is it that homicides never happen during regular business hours? She thought, pulling open the front door of the di diner and inhaling the tempting aroma of coffee that immediately wafted her way. What do you have for me? She asked her partner, who arrived ahead of her. The Emmy says death occurred sometime around midnight. Detective West 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 Weston answered. They were standing over the body of Frank Adams, owner of Frank's Diner. Mr. Adams' body was crumpled on the floor in the back of the kitchen. A carver, obviously pulled from the block of knives on the nearby counter, protruded from the victim's back. Weston pointed to a blonde girl in a waitress uniform sitting in a booth. That's Nancy Gibson, he continued. She found the body when she arrived this morning. She's pretty shaken up. Detective Ramos walked over to the booth and sat in the opposite seat, in the seat opposite the waitress. Can you tell me what happened, Miss Gibson? I came in at five, like I do every day. I keyed in, turned off the alarm, and got a pot of coffee going. Then I went to the refrigerator at the back of the kitchen for the creamers and saw the... She broke off and wiped her eyes with her napkin. I saw Frank. Detective Ramos nodded sympathetically. Was Mr. Adams having any personal problems? She asked, can you think of anyone who might want to harm him at all? Nancy paused. Not a soul. Frank, Frankie was the nicest person. Was he having any business prob any problems with the business? Uh. Times are tough. We haven't been bringing in quite as much money as usual. But no, not that I know of, really. Detective Ramos thanked her and crossed the room to where Weston was questioning a young man. This is Ted Wells, the dishwasher. Weston said, he says Adams was still here when he left at 11 last night. Mr. Wells, did your boss usually stay so late into the night? Detective Ramos asked. No, I usually closed up the place, but Frankie was still here doing some work in the office. Ted shook his head sadly. If I'd known something like this could, well, I wouldn't have left him alone. Any reason to think he'd be in danger staying here alone? I don't know, Ted said, frowning. There's been this homeless guy. He's been hanging around. Detective Ramos raised a brow. A homeless guy? Yes, he's here a lot. Frankie always gives him free coffee. Ted shook his head. I'm thinking maybe he wanted more than just coffee last night. The mention of At the mention of coffee, Detective Ramos sighed. She wished she could pour herself a cup, but this was a crime scene. She couldn't disturb possible evidence, no matter how much she wanted it, wanted to. Guess we better get track down this home, the homeless guy then, Weston sighed, heading for the door. Detective Ramos nodded and started to follow her partner. Suddenly, she stopped in her tracks. Actually, I don't think that'll be necessary, Wes, she said. The employee's had given her the information she needed to solve the case and to get her that much needed cup of, co of hot coffee. The waitress had turned off the alarm when she arrived. Only an employee would have known to set it, which meant the last worker to leave had. Since the victim couldn't have set the alarm, that left Ted. Frankie had discovered he had been stealing, and in a fight, Ted had stabbed him. From, the for from force of habit, he set the alarm as he left. <laughs>